I use my iPhone camera for the oddest things, like recording weird translations of the title of Johnny Depp movies, or recording the enthusiasm of German soccer fans, or taking note of the odd blue light in at least some German bathrooms that I suppose are supposed to sterilize the bathrooms, or perhaps the bathroom's inhabitants. Mostly I like using my iPhone camera to record my beautiful wife Edith taking photos. We're going to have a wonderful collection of pictures when we get back. Well, she doesn't spend all her time taking photos. Sometimes she hides behind blue things. Well, actually that seems to be the leg of a giant blue cat. But much of the time she does concentrate on taking photos. As in this instance, the rose garden at the fortress on Elkville. Oh, okay. Here's something that does not involve Edie in photos. This is a gift piggy bank for newlyweds. Very German, encouraging them to save money. And here's a monument honoring the cultivation and sale of asparagus, which the Germans love. Asparagus, the little waiter, waitresses sometimes call it. Also, here's the royal ducal nose from a palace once occupied by the Elector of Hanover. I noticed that all the pictures of the family had this prodigious snoz. It's a nice palace. We had to wear felt shoes to shuffle our way around. <laughs> and here is uh, Netto, the bargain grocery store here in Germany. That's a brand of bourbon I'm not familiar with. It only costs 10 American dollars after being imported all the way from Kentucky. Also cat food, anything that has to do with cats I'm interested in. I have done one sequence of photos. This is a fountain in Aachen, apparently, according to the guide, uh, paid for by local bankers that as far as I can tell points out the contemptibility of yearning for money and vying for its possession. Looks more like one of those old George Gross uh, German Weimar Republic cartoons. But here we are back to taking photos and taking more photos and getting ready to take photos and staring down long streets and taking photos and clumped with other photographers taking photos and stepping back to take just the right photo. I believe Edith is going to have some wonderful photos when we get home.